For the second time in five seasons, Joey Logano is a NASCAR Cup Series champion. Very fitting that the 22 team ends up winning the 2022 championship. The duo of Joey Logano and Paul Wolf had made the championship four back in 2020, but this time they were looking to make it again and capitalize by winning the championship. They started off the season in the best way possible, winning the inaugural clash at the LA Coliseum. Once the regular season started, it was a debate whether they or the 12 team of Ryan Blaney was the best Penske team. While the 12 was consistent, the 22 did something they couldn't, and that was win races. So last lap. Oh, he oh, is oh, into the wall. There oh, you go. Logano goes here, by. Here. Wow. White flag, Do you one lap to go, sponsored by Credit oh, One Bank. Wow. Ah. Holy. You saw it coming. That 24 was loose. He was having to back up in the corner a little bit, but man, he got hit pretty hard there. Joey Logano. Nice job. Flag. 28th career win. Logano from the pole to the checkered flag captures the Goodyear 400. Inside, two back, both lanes behind. 45 to Going to see another slide job right here. Kyle Busch drives it way off into the corner. Logano needs it. Oh, he slid way up the track. Crossover coming. And here comes Blaney. And he's got a pusher right behind him. Uh, oh, and sideways is Bush. Yeah. Excuse me, Kyle's sideways loose. One lap to go. The race is official. Joey Logano. Those two were going for it. Joey did exactly what he needed to do. Off turn four, Joey Logano. Yeah. Nice the, job, dude. The Penske and Ford Louisiana, Mustang, baby. a winner in St. Louis. Louisiana, baby. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> 29th career car, win for anyway. Logano. In a season full of parody, those two wins would be extremely important because it set Joey Logano up to start the playoffs in the number two seed. The first playoff race at Darlington showcased the team's true speed as they were able to start on the pole for that race and finish fourth. Despite running into some problems at Kansas and Bristol, they had a big enough cushion above the cut line that it didn't even matter. The round of 12 was similar, starting off with a second place finish at Texas, but then followed those up with finishes of 27th and 18th at Talladega and the Charlotte Roval. They once again had a big enough cushion to help them advance, but the round of eight is where the team would really shine. Needing just one win for them to advance to the championship Four, they unloaded a very fast Pennzoil Ford, and with a little luck and some brilliant strategy calls, the team was able to advance right away, not having to worry for the next two races. Yeah, Rick, so why is Joey Logano not on your TV screen at home? Bad pit stop on what could be the final stop of the day. See, they couldn't get the left rear off of the car. They lost six spots, restarted in 10th, and right now has only gained one spot in ninth. Going to be tough sledding with 29 to go. A monster lap out of Joey Logano, right, to make the pass and then pick up two tenths of a second in one lap, Marty. Boy, if Logano can pull off this win, you have to give credit to Paul Wolf, his crew chief. He has 13 lap fresher tires than Ross Chastain. And because of that bad pit stop, they got mired back in traffic. Steve, sometimes an unfortunate break leads to a good break. Maybe those fresh Goodyears will be good enough to put Joey Logano into the championship four at Phoenix. Another run here by Logano. I'm going to run at you. Logano down to the apron. The apron right here. Once clear, again, Chastain blocking. Down. Chastain blocking every move Logano makes. He's going to draft here sideways. The one trying to get away from him so he cannot side draft. The 22 says, fine, I'll run the shorter distance. Watch Logano have far he drives into the corner. He's in front of him, but he can't slide up to clear him, or is he going to? He does. Clear up, clear up. He slides Watch just in down. front of Chastain. Now Chastain, with under three laps to go, has to fight his way back up front. Logano is driving away from him now. Joey Logano coming in. He was second in the rankings in this round of eight. But a win here. Welcome to the championship Let's four. Get the championship, baby. Let's get one. Even
Even though they locked themselves into the Championship 4 right away, you would be very hard pressed to find many fans viewing this team as a Championship favorite. Chase Elliott was the best driver throughout the regular season, Christopher Bell won two clutch races to advance to different rounds including the Championship 4, and finally, Rosh Tastain pulled off the racing move of the century. While the 22 team didn't have the most momentum, they had the most time on their hands. That win would allow the team to solely focus on their Phoenix setup, and right away, it would pay off. And that would be not just pit stall one, but what a huge shot of momentum. Good gain right here on corner exit. Wow, and Logano does it. He is fastest, 26.78. All right, nice lap, P1 at the moment. 26th pull for Joey Logano, but maybe the most important. Right from the very beginning of the Championship 4 race, it became very clear that the 22 was the most dominant amongst the four. With an amazing setup, and also clean air definitely helps, Joey Logano was able to dominate Stage 1. Stage 2 would be mostly the same, as he was still clearly better than the other Championship contenders. But in the beginning of the final stage, Chase Elliott was starting to give him a run for his money, until... Chastain had a choice. He could have lifted. He could have went even further to the left. Said he wasn't going to do that. Really just held the wheel straight. Said if you want to spin yourself across the nose of my car, it's not my fault. So that's the way he'll view this. Chase will probably be aggravated that he didn't cut him a break. Oh, he just wrecked us. With mistakes from the 9 and the 20 on track and pit road, this left only the 22 and the 1 to duke it out for the championship. But in the end, clean air is king. Logano was able to stay up front for the rest of the final stage, only being behind a championship four contender for one lap in total. It was really a no contest throughout the race. Nobody had anything for him. And now they were going to cruise to a championship. Only one lap, one green flag lap, was he not in front of the other four or three championship four contenders. Logano has put together a perfect race, and once again, it could come down to the champion winning the race to win the championship, this time by. One lap to go, presented by Credit One Bank. His closest competitor for the race win is Ryan Blaney, a teammate. That teammate has been hungry all year long, but it looks like he's gonna have to stay hungry going to 2023 because Logano has been the class of the field all day long. The 32-year-old, Joey Logano, he's already built a Hall of Fame career. Today, he etches his name in stone as one of the few to capture multiple championships. Logano is a two-time NASCAR Cup Series champion. Good job. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Joey Logano's 2022 championship stats are this. Four wins, 11 top fives, 17 top tens, and an average finish of 13.5. With this title, Joey Logano now becomes the 17th driver to have multiple championships in NASCAR Cup Series history. He also became the second driver in the playoff era to score multiple championships, joining an exclusive club with Kyle Busch. It's crazy to think that just 10 years ago, some were writing him off as another NASCAR bust, and now he's a multiple time Cup Series champion. We'll see if he can survive the dreaded championship hangover in 2023, or could they be the first to go back to back in the playoff era. And once again, that'll do it for another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Black Flags Matter. Catch you next time.